Capricorn. Welcome to your general reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love. I'm just going to take whatever comes out and uh, see what kind of energy we have for you this time. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And it could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not resonating for you, then it's not your reading. Stay tuned for the next reading. Maybe that'll resonate for you. So let's see what we have for Capricorn <clears throat> at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, playlist below in the description box for your love and general readings. And... Also, decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info, info is in the description box along with some to the top pinned to comment. And also another way to uh, tip or donate if you're not comfortable using PayPal is during the premiere. Super Chat is open. So you can also tip and donate that way if you choose to and if you do, thank you. So that is only during the premiere. If you're watching this during the premiere, Super Chat is open. So let's see what we have for you. Capricorn, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we can assign element or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, it's totally fine. So what do we have for Capricorn at this time, Spirit, please? That one, I feel. So we have Mars energy, which is Aries. So you could be dealing with um, Aries or have Aries in your chart. If not, it could be uh, a friend, a coworker, a family member, a lover. It could be anybody. If not, or if you don't have Aries in your chart, that's totally fine. But the energy of Mars <clears throat> is all about competitiveness, um, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, strength. So it's all that like fiery, determined energy to go after things that you want in your life doing it with you know assertion and courage and confidence and passion and all that energy so we'll see how that plays into your reading so i'm going to pull an opening message here we with this deck for you capricorn and then we'll pull another one for your energy then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then we'll look at the actual situation whatever comes out for you then advice possible outcome and then uh extra messages here with that oracle deck so Let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn, at this time, Spirit, please. What is the opening message for Capricorn, please? Thank you so much. Opening. Whoa, there we go. Deep freeze. So, what we got two here. So, I'm going to take <clears throat> both of them. One just went flying on the floor. So the first one we have here is Deep Freeze, which is 26, and that is 8. And 8 is about taking action, putting in the work, um, travel, communication. So there may be something here that you've put on Deep Freeze um, that you kind of put to the side. And uh, now is the time, I feel, to thaw that out, whatever that is for you. So something has been on hold, I feel. But then we have here Wishing Well which is 48, which is 12, which is three, which is learning something new, um, working together, you know, teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. So wishing well here could be something that you're wishing on. Uh, let's see, let's, I'm just gonna read a little snippet here with deep freeze and I opened it right to it. So there definitely could be a message uh, here for some of you. Everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation for go ambitious activity. <clears throat> a pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now. So reflect, read a good book, or get a mess massage, rest and dream. So I guess it's a message of the card, but the message I got was maybe something has been in a deep freeze for you. And now may be the time to throw it out because you do have wishing well here. So let's see, that is 48. 
So let's see what. Desire is the sacred impulse for life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. So aha moment, and I always associate some associate that sometimes to the tower, which Mars is Aries, and Aries in the, in the tower represents the tower. And I always say the tower can be even just an epiphany or an, an aha moment, not necessarily something bad. So that makes sense. Perhaps you recognize a soulmate or are conceiving a baby or an idea. The Wishing Well card awakens you to put to the presence of unseen forces. And we have the word pregnant and deep freeze. And now this is saying um, conceiving. Wow. <laughs> okay. The Wishing Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created on a magical way, in a magical way, neither you nor anyone else can know or why this happens. It just does. To the end, you can't control the, pro the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. Then trust and spirit prepare to be amazed. Maybe some of you <clears throat> have been trying to conceive. And maybe you're trying too hard. Because, I mean, Mars is about, you know, aggression and um, that kind of energy. So maybe you've just been trying too hard. And maybe it's time to just kind of, okay, just go with the flow. You know, put it out there and you know, not try so hard and make that wish and leave it up to the universe and then it may happen. That's usually how it happens. So <clears throat> like I said, this message may not be for everybody. So we have coming to life 29, which is 11 and 11 is a very spiritual being led on the right spiritual path, be going in the right direction. And that coming to life just reminds me of like new life coming to life. So, wow. Okay. So we have 26, 29, 48. So let's see what um, this 29 has to say. Something beautiful is being born in your life. Wow. I can't make this up. We have born, we have pregnant, and we have, uh, what do we say here for wishing well, um, conceived. Heavy messages here um, of conceiving. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least, matured your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time. Spirit's timetable is really in sync with your own. This card indicates a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. Wow. You must try to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. Wow. So this is just giving it off, giving it, to the divine, to the universe, going with the flow, not trying so hard, dropping that coin to the wishing well, and lo and behold, your wishes may come true. So I do feel like it's a heavy ev energy of some of you trying to conceive and maybe have been having um, difficulty with that. Or whatever you're trying to manifest or wish or, or start or get in your life or a new beginning, um, <clears throat> maybe trying too hard and just kind of got to ease up a little bit, go with the flow, just put it out to the universe and let the universe do its thing. All right, Capricorn. So what is this energy for you, Capricorn, Capricorn? Energy for Capricorn spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, these two went sideways, so let's see. 
So we have the Ten of Shields. So this is about marriage. So some of you definitely could be married. And this is also uh, commitment, marriage, um, family dynamic, you know, having growth, abundance, being set for life. It's about generations of uh, legacy. So trying to create, I feel, generations of legacy here or starting trying to start a family to your Ten of Pentacles. And there you go, Ace of Cups here. So, and the Ace of Cups could be, you know, that brand new beginning is usually brand new beginning in love, but it doesn't have to be with a soulmate. This could be just a new form of life of some kind, having peace, happiness, joy, uh, compassion, you know, spiritual energy, and being like at peace, love and emotions overflowing. So you definitely could be, you know, married to a soulmate here. There's a lot of love between you. But coming to life, if you're trying to conceive, could this could be the divine here finally giving you your wish here with the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, so what do we have here now? So we have the Two of Wands. So yeah, being at a crossroads, um, trying to make plans, decisions for the future of some kind, fiery, passionate energy. Definitely could be a lot of passion between the two of you because it is about two. Trying to make these plans and decisions for the future. But we have the Nine of Pentacles. It's usually a single energy, so some of you may be, may be single, and I'm getting some of you may be married. Some of you may want to conceive, whether you're single or not. You feel like it's your time in life to be, you know, a mother, a father, whatever here. Obviously, if you're a man, uh, well, I don't know how that would work unless you adopt. But, um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is a very single, independent energy. It's being secure, grounded, um, taking care of yourself, having everything you need. So now we have the King of Swords. So this is like divine intervention energy to me. It's also air energy, so, you know, this is having truth, clarity, um, open, honest communication, standing up for yourself, not backing down, cutting away things no longer serving you, becoming enlightened with that truth and clarity there with the sun behind you. All right, so let's get one more. Oops. And now we have the Ten of Cups that just flipped. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, total fulfillment, right on the Ace of Cups in every single way, happiness, joy happy home and family. So some of you are trying to start a family. And this Nine of Pentacles just could be, you know, even if you're married or in a long-term commitment, whatever your situation is, could just be that you just don't have any children. So it's just, you know, being in that energy. But you got two tens here, the Pentacles and the Cups for happy home and family, legacy, uh, stability. Wow. Okay, so let's get, and there goes the train. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. It's sort of like my confirmation when the train goes by. So let's see what your actual, wow, it's loud tonight. Actual situation. The Four of Shields. Trying to hold on to something here. Strength, being strong, and trying to hold on. The lovers, yeah, exactly, right in the middle of your spread here. So definitely here you could be in a long-term commitment or married, you know, to your soulmate here. Trying to be strong in this as just trying to start a family, I feel. <coughs> really, you know, four of pentacles is, you know, very stable foundation between the two of you. Um, kind of energy. Trying to really, really hold on as you're trying to get through this, trying to start this family. And it may not just may just be not happening, but um, I feel like you just kind of need to, with the deep freeze, there's kind of, you know, not try so hard. Justice. So, yeah, getting justice here. Scales balancing out, truth, clarity, getting justice. Wow. So you got strength, the lovers, and justice. Wow. I feel like this family that you're trying to start, it's going to come. Just You will have justice in this situation. Just going to remain strong here. 
And the four of pentacles here is, again, that energy of holding back. So I think you need to hold back a little, not try so hard. And then it's probably going to happen. So one more for your actual situation. Seven of shields. Yeah. Energy of, you know, this is an energy of waiting, um, assessing the situation, analyzing it, um, kind of energy. Investments, you know, making sure this is something you want to invest in also for the future. All right, so, or maybe you need to take a look at how you're going about this, and maybe you need to um, look at and analyze and <clears throat> look over every aspect and say, okay, maybe there's something we need to change. All right, that makes sense. So let's see, advice, advice, shadow, yeah. So this is the devil energy. <sighs> in the Knight of Swords. So yeah, see, I feel like the Knight of Swords is a fast action, rushing, uh, kind of reckless energy. Shadows, that like that toxic devil. Not so much toxic, that, but it could, it could be that energy of letting, trying to stop this family, like over consume the connection, the marriage, the whatever here. And it's sort of becoming like an obsession now or whatever here. It's like you need to move out of this, this, Obsess, obsessive energy over this or whatever here of trying too hard or letting it consume you the connection in your life the knight of swords is rushing away from that energy so you need to try not to try you need to not try so hard is what i'm trying to say but also that knight of swords is that energy of that like going going and going also so that's your advice so let's get a couple more for your advice the knight of wands so yeah a lot of fiery passion action i mean that doesn't mean to stop having the passion between you because now these knights are facing each other <laughs> so you know the knight of wands sometimes you know is that like uh, they call it the player energy i'm not getting that but it's that very sexual passionate energy so i do feel like you know there's a lot of passion and action whatever between the two of you and that's fine um you could still have that but don't let this obsession over starting this family consume your life all right so let's get one more for your advice yeah the fool so i mean you know you are ready to take this risk this leap of faith um to jump right in to start this family i mean you really want that bad i feel with the fool energy it's like these two energies are like conflicting like they're going head to head here you know, this fiery, passionate energy and wanting this new start, this new family. And then you have this energy of being like totally obsessed or whatever with this energy, letting it overcome you and your connection in your life. <clears throat> and just, um, it's like all you think about, that's all that consumes you. And it's like all these, en this energy is just kind of like going head to head here. And it's kind of like causing a tower moment here with this volcano erupting here. And I had said the tower moment uh, represents Mars. And what did I read? A Naha moment was it coming to life was the tower energy. So, okay. So Capricorn, let's get <clears throat> possible outcome for you in this situation for you. Queen of shields, such your energy, king or queen, doesn't matter. So being very stable, secure, and grounded. Again, looking at that pentacle, you know, saying why, you know, why don't I have what I want yet? Why isn't it coming? <clears throat> and you have the five of pentacles. So, you know, <clears throat> an energy of feeling, you know, neglected or left out in the cold or abandoned or monetary lack. But then you do have the Six of Cups, which can speak about um, children. And it could talk about, um, it's usually soulmate energy or it's um, past life energy. Or it could be some sort of karma from your past life coming over into this life. And that's why there's so much difficulty in starting like this new family for some reason. 
but you see the child there. So, I mean, I do feel like this is, this will happen for some of you, but you're really feeling like the lack right now because it's not happening, but you do have stability and, um, rounded energy here with the queen of shields. That's your energy, king or queen. And you see like she's holding that pentacle like a child. So I feel like, and here's the child here. So this is going to happen. And you're just going to give it time, not let it consume your life, your partner, just kind of do your life, do your thing, you know, have the passion between you and just go on with your everyday life. And that's probably what's going to happen. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. So we have the Eight of Swords. So mental entrapment stuck in your head about this. Like, why isn't it happening? But Eight of Shields here. So putting in the work. So you're really working hard, hard at this. Again, that fiery, and well, I don't, well, don't want to say what that, um, you know, throne looks like. But anyway, um, again, fiery, passionate energy. But here's your brand new beginning of success, victory, enlightenment, healing, divine intervention, energy, shedding truth, clarity um, on the situation that you will have this successful new beginning that you're looking for, which will be very balanced healing energy, manifesting this new beginning. And we have the page of swords. So that's, you know, cutting out energy, no longer serving you with that sword, which is this obsessive energy over this cutting, needing to cut away that energy, maybe researching something new um, in this situation, but you have the two of cups again. Here's the soulmates. I feel like you definitely are with your soulmate and uh, coming into unity here with um, something that is meant for you. So this will happen. So let's see, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Gemini, Virgo. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. <clears throat> let's see we have Libra Gemini Aquarius is that yeah the king of swords Libra Gemini Aquarius Aquarius um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn Capricorn which is your energy right there I forgot to say that Libra Gemini Aquarius Leo Sag Aries um, Libra Gemini, Leo. So those are the other energies that I see. So I'm going to pull some extra messages here for you, um, Capricorn. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal reading, tip, donated. Did I say that already? If I did, I'm sorry. Or sent a gift. Um, all your support really means a lot to me. So thank you. If you don't want to donate through PayPal, Super Chat's open only through the premiere. You can tip or donate that way. And I'm also having a uh, giveaway for 10,000 subscribers because we reached 10,000 subscribers. You can enter the contest to win a tarot deck and a free 20-minute reading of your choice by me. So look in the description box and the top comment. Follow the link on how to enter. It'll be open through March. And uh, if you do, thank you and good luck to you. So, and Capricorn, if you're new, you like my energy, the way I read, my style, check out my channel. You like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. All right, so Capricorn. Capricorn, let's get some extra messages saying no. So this has been coming out a lot lately. So I feel like we have 36, which is nine, which is almost at our completion. And then, um, then you have a new beginning. I feel like that's just, just the energy of trying too hard. And maybe sometimes you have to say no, you know. But then we have stick with it. So we got two conflicting energies here. So we have 44. Four is about stability, the foundation, the basis. It's been a long journey here, but it's telling you to stick with it. But something here is saying you to say no <clears throat> for some reason. But stick with it. I don't know how well that makes sense for you. So let's see <clears throat> what other messages are for you, Capricorn. Reach out. 82, which is 10. 10s are ending. One is a new beginning. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. 
decorate 55 which is change maybe you need to get your mind off this and do some other things like decorate or you know do something artistic or something creative um kind of energy maybe sometimes you know maybe just going at it too much like 10 times a day maybe sometimes you just gotta say no <laughs> and uh reach out maybe spend more time with friends and family kind of energy you know stick with your plan stick with it but don't be so obsessive um, about it. So, like I said, this may not be for everybody. And if it's not about conceiving a family, it just can be something that you're really trying hard and it's not happening. Um, you may need just to ease up and let the universe do its thing. And I think it'll happen. Okay, Capricorn, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.